everybody welcome to my channel today i just thought we'd make some cards um i've been printing off some sheets from the um usb that i've got from paper boutique um so i have a hp printer i've had it for quite a while and on there i have the insta ink where you pay so much a month for a number of pages and they'll automatically send you out new ink cartridges when you need it. I've had it for quite a while and if I'm honest with you, I do not get the use out of my printer at all. But if you switch the ink off, as in if you stop your Insta ink, even if there's ink in that cartridge, they will stop your printer from printing unless you go out and buy a, a new ink cartridge. So I've always just kept it running and never really used the pages. But I've decided that instead of wasting all that money, what I'm going to do is every month, just before I am due a new payment, I am going to print off um, a load of images, papers and things, and either put them away in my like kits, in my arsenal for when I need them, or actually just use them. So today is a day where I am due to renew my ink and I haven't used a single page this month. So I've sat today and I've printed off some decorative papers, some toppers and some sentiments. Um, and I just thought we'd get them out and I guess make some cards out of them really. Nothing fancy, um, but yeah, I just really wanted to use some of these up. Um, so I'm just splitting them off. So I printed them out of a couple of different kits that was on there. Um, and I can't remember which kits these are from. So let me just grab my... So this is the USB that I'm using. I am planning on getting some more of these because I actually really like them. And they do a lot of them. But I have noticed that they've put the price back up to full price. And I'm not saying they're not worth it. They absolutely are. But they're far better value when they're like £15 each. So I've printed off some pages. I believe this kit here is the Fancy Flutters. This one is the Summer Moments. This one is Honey Meadow. And that one is Jungle Fever, I believe. Um, no, that one isn't Fancy Flutters. That one will be Moon Meadow. Moon Meadow for that one. Um, I haven't printed out a lot, as I say, just a couple of pages on each. And I thought we'd just make some cards out of them. I don't know how many cards I'm going to get made up. Um, and to be honest with you, I can print off as much of this as I need whenever I need it, which I think is great. I have the sentiments and I think they print out pretty well. I have just put in a brand new ink cartridge and yeah, I am not disappointed with those at all. Um, so the way that I've done it is I've printed the sentiments and the toppers on some cardstock. The papers for the most part I have just printed out on paper, um, nothing fancy, I think it's only like 80 GSM. But I'm going to be back in the Monte Carlo blanks anyway, so that kind of didn't bother me. Um, absolutely love these. I don't think I've shown these ones yet. I, some, what I've done is I've printed off ones that I don't think I've got the actual like kits of. I think these are new ones. These, this one definitely is. Um, but yeah, just thought we'd make some cards out of them see how many we get made so i'm just gonna cut this one up i have cut them out so i printed them on a4 um so i have already cut off the excess I just thought there's nothing fancy about this one today guys just a bit of quick card making which sometimes are the best cards Um, 
so I've just got those four. To be fair, these four won't need any sentiments because they already have sentiments on them. And these measure in at just under four by just under four on these ones. So what card lengths have I got? These are some five by fives. Happiness blooms from within. So that one is the matching one. And then I might just pop some Miri on this one. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's grab a piece of Miri. Let's put it on that one. Might as well do that. I'm just going to use my ATG. this onto here I'll trim that out and then I'm going to trim this down slightly as well before I use it so let's just see how big my car blank is they're five by fives but they're not always actually five by five so it's ever so slightly under by ever so slightly under. So we'll go one notch under. going to fit nicely on there with a little white border and then if I trim this off too these are great for building up your stuff especially if you find that you have one or two kits that are your favorite and you can get these with your kit like a USB for your kit. Just always make sure that when you're using USBs or printing something off online, you check out the policy for limitations of use or um, angel policy. Because one thing you don't want to do is be making lots of things and then get caught out. So, I'm going to build this up. Just stand my card, but I'm gonna stick it that way actually. It's come off, it's come off, we're all good. It's the only thing with the ATGs is so sticky. I do that quite often when it gets stuck. And I'm just trying to like position something. Let's see what we can do now. I don't think it helps. This paper's really thin.
I'm just using what I've got, that's my problem. Do need to get something a bit thicker. Not on very straight, that one. Hmm. Not happy with that, so I'm not going to stick it down because I don't want to waste my topper. But that topper would then sit on there like so. There we go. That's how I would have that topper if I liked that one. I do like the card. I don't like the um, the way that paper stuck down on that card blank. So I'm going to put that one to one side so that I'm not wasting it. There's nothing worse than a wasted topper. And then what's we've got going on? So we have this one. Those two that could match on either one of those, to be honest. And I think I'm gonna have a go at doing a one of my new cut apart cards. I quite like doing. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Thank you for being the special person you are. this on some Miri as well. There we go. I'll bring in my cutter. And the first thing I want to do is trim around this. So that's our topper. Then I'm going to take my card blank. And then this is a five. So I'm going to cut this. Uh, I'm going to cut it down to three actually. This one inside so we'll cut this one one down from five because my five by seven is usually pretty good size so one down from five we're gonna go one down from seven so this panel is gonna go on the inside of my card like so This is probably one of my new favourite card designs. You'll be sick of seeing it soon, but I do really like it. Right, and it's so versatile that even for like something like this, it just it just works. There's just something about it. Look at how beautiful that is. Move it, move that one to the side. And I'm just gonna get a pile of like scraps over here and sort them out in a bit. Uh, after the disaster I've just had with my ATG with these papers, it's because they're so thin. Um, they're quite flimsy. I am going to use my glue. I'm going to use my wet glue and hope that you can't see this through the paper. So this is just some Nuvo. All I've done is just decanted it into a smaller bottle 
to make it easier though I must admit the Nouveau bottles aren't that bad How beautiful is that? Absolutely stunning. I love this design of card. And then we're going to take our topper. love that one can't get over how beautiful those designs of cards are so we've got that um i did print off this pack and i thought it would go really nice on my new craft cards that i picked up thought the colors would work perfectly but the cards are too big which is annoying Uh, sorry, the toppers are too big. Toppers are too big. But I might do. Let's cut this one out. Quite like this one. So I might actually cut that further. Let me just grab one of these. This is from a new set of um, craft card card blanks. Pick them up from Crafters Companion. Now I've never had their card blanks at all. Yeah, they feel okay. These are an A6 size. And that is like... And it's just going to fit, look, isn't it? So, size are these. I want to cut like a little bit off but I need to make sure I cut off the same amount on each side or do I just cut down to the yellow no I don't want to cut down to the yellow this is hard I 
I think I might just try and cut down to the yellow. This is where I wish I had like measurements here so I could see how much I was cutting off. I always save those for another project. Even that's not level. I don't like it. Ah! Uh, Why is everything going wrong today? I feel like it's one of those days today. completely trimmed it down we don't have any yellow now which makes that a much nicer size what i am going to do is i'm going to back this onto some gold i think some gold would really play into these colors so we grab a gold for me oops Again. And then some papers I've got in here. I just go for that one actually, that is quite matching. There's a size as this as a card blank. So we have just over four, five, one notch under six. So, if we go roughly there, five, five and a half. You make my heart smile. I like that. It's my first time using the um, craft cards, to be honest. And I think that looks quite nice together. I think the colours go really well. I could even bring in some, um, maybe some gold. Oh, half pearls, gems.
then I might actually put that onto something. Okay. Lion. And then pop this one. Stand my card up again. My first card actually using the craft card and I actually really like that. I think that I think that, that looks really nice. I think I'm gonna have to buy some more of these in some different sizes because I did only want to buy the one pack, the A6. It's nice. Um I think I'm gonna leave it there. I haven't made many, I must admit, but everything seems to be going a little bit wrong for me. So I'm gonna leave it. Um I kind of made three cards. What I'll do is I'll reprint this green paper and I'll just do this one again. Um, but, I mean, it's three cards-ish out of bits that I've printed off. And there's so many more that you can make and so much more that you can do from the um, printed designs. Um, this is literally just a single session of making three cards. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know each and every time that we post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me here today, although a lot of them went wrong. But you know what? Things do go wrong in crafting. They aren't perfect all the time. And it's just how you deal with them. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now.